Your man still getting it in, DJ E. Contemp's most connected DJ. Stepping my game up with a dude right here. Morocco drama, DJ drama in the building. Yeah. What's good with you, man? What up, big homie? I'm out here doing Come my on, thing. Man. Come on, man. You the big homie, dude. Come <laughs> on, man. Talk about a dude that's like setting a trend and showing DJs how they can really get it. That's you, man. Hey, man. You know what I mean? I'm blessed to be here doing what I do. You know, it's been a long road and everything. I got the second album coming. Gangsta Girl, the album volume two, May 19th. So, you know. So when you started, man, when you first decided that DJ was going to go in front of your name, did you think it would get to where it's at now? No, nah, I can't say that I did. My goal at the time when I got my DJ name and I knew what my name was, was to get my name on a flyer. Right. Real talk, that's all I cared about. I just wanted to make sure that I got my name on a flyer. Because when I was in high school, you know, I used to take the train in the, in the subway every day. Right. And when I go up to the um, train station, you know, every Thursday and Friday, you see all the flyers with all the DJ's names on it. Right. You know, I, I was a young boy, so I was like, man, I got to get my weight up. Right. You know, I got to get my name on a flyer. So, you know, that that's really what I wanted to do. And I told myself, if I do that, everything after that is extra. So everything oh, okay. since then has been extra. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, man, because I'm, I'm just a little history on you, man. And, and right. everybody may not know this. I'm hearing, like, like back in the day, before the DJ drama thing, you was more on like a different, you was like, like on a different, like listen to more like kind of, I guess, the Arrested Development type, type movie. Well, I wouldn't say Arrested thing. Development. Well, I, but, I guess. No, nah, but I'm going to tell you what it is. You know, I mean, you know, yeah, give it in, in me. a sense, when, when I was in college, I was more of a backpacker than I was a gangsta griller. Okay. You know, but I mean, really what it comes down to is I'm a DJ. You know, I'm originally right. from Philly, you know, so I mean, I grew up with, you know, a wide variety of music. Right. And when I was coming up, I basically, you know, I had a wide array of mixtape series. Right. So I would have like an East Coast series, I would have a reggae series, I would have um, a Down South series, right. which became Gangsta Girls, and I would also have a Neo Soul series. Right. And the two that really would take off was was the um, the Gangsta Girls and the Neo Soul one. Okay. The Neo Soul was called Automatic Relaxation, and at the time there wasn't you know a lot out there like that. Right. So you know th there's a there's a, a fan base of mine from earlier on in my career that knew me for that that okay. you know will still be on the blogs and be like, man, I, I remember Drum when he was doing this and doing that. So, you know, being a DJ, you know, I love music. So I love right. all types of music. So, you know, at the at I was doing a college party, you would play Master P, then I would go over here to to a lyricist lounge and go rock some most deaf and Talib Kweli. So okay. that's really where that comes from. Shout okay. out to the rest of development though. Oh, Speech, okay. what up? Nah, I, you know, I just, <laughs> <laughs> just try to get it in, man. You know nah, what I'm saying? So 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 how did the Gangsta Grills thing even come about? You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's yeah. like a that that to me is like yeah. You don't speak drama without, it's like one and the same, Gangsta yeah. Grills, DJ drama. What, yeah. what made, I mean, I know being in the South, but what made that series? I mean, I mean, really what made the series was, I was sitting around one day in my crib bugging out with my business partner, DJ Sense, and um, there's, a, there's a big DJ in Atlanta named Emperor Cersei, right. who's on the radio in Atlanta. We have our big event, it's called Birthday Bash. Okay. And Cersei was like, look, I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a, help y'all get a table where y'all can, you know, hustle your mixtapes and everything. So at the time, I needed a new title for um, my new South series. Right. I just really was playing around with words, and I was like, how about Gangsta Girls? And Sense was like, yeah, that's cool. That'll okay. work. So hence, Gangsta Girls was born. You know, I kept it going for a minute. In that, in that era of when I was coming up with the Gangsta Girl mixtapes, up north, what was popular was having hosts on mixtapes. Right. You know, everybody was getting hosts and, you know, big artists to host the mixtapes and kind of co-sign them. Right. So I was like, you know, that's, that's the route I need to take. At the time, in the South, you know, um, pretty much the, the, the mixtape culture was, you know, based around Big Oomp and DJ Jelly and Monte and whatnot. Right. And they had their own style of mixtapes. And, you know, what I was doing was more influenced by what was happening up top, but okay. South orientated, you know, so I wound up getting Little John to host my mixtape, and you know that hence the Gangsta Grizzlies drop was, I was born. Say, is that the emergence of the drop right there? Yeah, that's then? how it happened, and, and really how it happened was the next tape I did, Gangsta Grills 5, I didn't have no host. So I was like, oh, let me just use Little John voice again. Right. There it is. And so now, we had the situation of Gangsta Grills 2, the official Yeah, the, the album. Crazy. 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 And, and just real quick, man, just to show the value of having relationships, dude. And, and I know it's not really about everybody on the album, it's about you. But just No, like really, it's, it's more about everybody on the album. Like, you know, that's the one thing, like, you know, having my picture on the cover or it being drama, like, you know, Gangsta Grills as a brand, as a right. movement, is bigger than me. You know, okay. I, I, I don't rap. 
You right. know what I mean? And and really, you know, on the production side, I, you know what I mean? I only co-produce, you know. I, right. I still use a lot of outside producers and people who are excellent at their job. So, right. you know what I mean? It's really about all the key players, everybody involved, that make the project what it is. And that's what Gangsta Girls was, was built on. It was built on, upon, you know, quality hip-hop music and everybody that plays their part and represents that. So I think even with the artists, that's why, you know, they love coming in into the movement because, you know, Gangsta Girls is, is such an important brand right. that, you know, it's, it's respectable to, to have been a part of it. You know, it's history. Right. So, basically, you, you borderline, you, you A&R. In a sense, I mean, you know. Not I'm, in a sense. Don't play, dude. I, I'm everything. If you're picking them I'm, records and you got them coming through and you you making these hits on these albums. Everything, man. A&R, DJ, executive, artist, whatever you need me to be, I'm, I'm it. DJs don't get it how big it can be. Man. <laughs> what's the what's the what's the one record on this joint right here that that really you know? Cause I know I know they all like your babies and everybody tell yeah. me when you're making a project they become your babies. Yeah, that's. But what's that one joint that that makes DJ drama go? This is this. I is, don't know, man. I like I can't I, I like them all. I know I just had a record leak recently um, called uh, We Will Be Heard right. featuring Ludacris, Willie the Kid, and Busta Rhymes, produced okay. by uh, V12 the Hitman. And it's getting some rave reviews, great response, I think. And I think a lot of it is based upon the, the subject matter of the record. Okay. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, we're dealing with what's going on in today's times and everything. And, you know, sometimes we get, you know, we, we, we lose ourselves in the music. And it's just important to remember, you know, that, you know, hip-hop as, as an art form is, is based upon what's going on around us. Right. Let me ask you something else to me. How, how, how important is it to you? And because and I, I watch you keep this movement, like it could be like this, because I'm sure you could just put out an email tomorrow and every DJ in America be like, yeah, I want to be an affiliate. Mm -hmm. How important is it to you to keep your camp? You know, because I see some of these DJ crews, they're just DJ crews, and it's DJs everywhere. But y'all have kind of kept the affiliates as a, yeah. you know, a niche little movement. Mm -hmm. How important has that been for you? I mean, it's, it's important because, you know, we're about family. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, shout out to all the DJ crews out there doing their thing. And, you know, the, the, the bigger ones, you know, they serve a, they serve a purpose for being that large and everything, right. but you know, we, well, basically what we were trying to do in the direction we were trying to go in, it wasn't to form a super huge DJ conglomerate. You know, it was more about you know picking select few DJs that you know would would definitely rock the affiliates brand and you know make make some history. Right. So. I just, I just want to be like an honorary affiliate. I mean, no, you're doing I'm your just thing. Saying, I, 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 I'll ask you right on camera because yeah, I think the brand is heavy. I think nah, you got you, a movement going on. You're doing right your there. thing. I was waiting for that. Oh, come on. Oh, here we go, man. <laughs> My dude right here. So, what's next, man? I know, because I know, you know what I'm saying, and, and I know this is like a, a real touch thing because we all got family within this whole thing. Tip's about to be going for yeah, a minute. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, I know the whole Grand Hustle Atlantic yeah. movement is part of you. Yeah. What's, what's next? I know we promoting the album. Get the nah, album definitely, man. The album, I mean, shout to the homie Tip. You know what I mean? I'm. I'm definitely going to, you know, wave the flag while he's gone, the, the Grand Hustle flag. And, I mean, when he comes home, he's really going to be hotter than ever. Right. You know, I got my man a lot of Dark Man's Project dropping, Willie the Kid, okay. Lonnie Mack. You know, I got my radio shows going on. I'm, I'm heavy on the road. You know, after the after this album tour um, and during the States, when the album drops, I got to go overseas and, you okay. know, do the international thing. We're going to Japan. We're going to Dubai. going to South Africa. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm on the road, dude. I mean, no, it's good. You know, it, it has its, it has its, its positives and but at the same time, you know, it's good to get get home and get to work and, you know, be able to see the family and, right. you know, get to the A-Town and do my thing. So I love all I love all aspects of it. Okay. So DJ Drama, man. Give me the album one time. And the hey, man, they, May they 19th, it. Gangsta Girl, the album, Volume 2. I'm talking about Akon, Snoop, T.I., Ludacris, Busta Rhymes, The Dream, see, Too Short, heavy. Lot of Dark Man, Willie the Kid, see, Nas, heavy. Scarface, Marsha Ambrosius, Trick Daddy, Rick Ross, Mike Jones, Ray J, Fabulous, Young Dro, Gucci Man, Trey Songs, Bun B, Styles P, Juvenile, Soldier budget? Slim, Rest in Peace. What kind of budget do you have? I love budget. <laughs> Barocco <laughs> drama, man. Album in stores again, May 19th. Right? Yes, sir. My dude right here. He can holler at me. <laughs> My dude.